tried to make a muffin recipe or any other recipe calling for buttermilk and found out that you don't have enough. The other thing with buttermilk is it often comes in a quart container. If you don't need that much, it often just sits in the refrigerator and goes to waste. To get around that, what you can do is just make a simple buttermilk substitute at home using milk and lemon juice. White vinegar would also work in this recipe. So, you can use fresh lemon juice or you can use the bottled variety. I prefer the fresh because it's always much more crisp and it has a nice, more, much more tart flavor. So you're going to squeeze the lemon juice into a separate container. And for one cup of buttermilk, you're only going to need one tablespoon of lemon juice. So one tablespoon of lemon juice will go into the measuring cup for one cup of milk. I use skim milk because that's what we use in my house, but if you use whole milk, 2% regular milk, that's fine. So you have your one tablespoon of lemon juice in the measuring cup, and you're going to fill up with milk until the one cup mark on your measuring cup. When you're measuring, you always look at eye level to make sure it's perfectly even. We're good. Now you're going to let this stand for five minutes. We'll come back and check out what it's going to look like. It'll have curdled, which is what the buttermilk is. It's essentially curdled milk. Okay, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so five minutes have passed and we have buttermilk. It's much easier than running to the supermarket and much quicker too. So our buttermilk is ready. We let it stand for five minutes. And once again, that was our combination of one tablespoon lemon juice or white vinegar and any, any type of milk, one cup of any type of milk that you use in your house. So we're going to just take a look at this buttermilk. It's now nice and thick. We can mix it up a little bit. You see the density has increased. It's much thicker and much, um, it has the curdles in it that it didn't have before. You see once again it has curdles. It's got some thickness to it and it's perfect for use in any recipe that may call for buttermilk. Fried chicken, muffins, anything, any recipe that you use with buttermilk. Okay.